Good morning. I'm Bernie Eckstein. I'm a physics doctoral student at UU, and today. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Bernie Eckstein, and today I'm about to make history. I'm going to prove that jumping forward in time is not only physically feasible, but also <laughs> that... <coughs> Shit. <clears throat> Good morning. I'm Bernie Eckstein, and today in front of this camera, I'm... Oh, shit. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Bernie Eckstein. Today is April 1st, 2012, and I'm about to jump forward in time using a microwave oven. Well, that, that is mostly a microwave oven. That way I will prove once and for all that time... Ready? One second. What are you doing over there? <laughs> As you can see, the microwave is the heart of the system. I'm using microfrequency radiation in order to easily create the conditions needed for uh, local time distortion. And... Bernie, are this is the, uh, the projection unit, which monitors and measures me so that only I will jump forward in time, not the whole apartment. Uh, me and my clothes, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm no, no Schwarzenegger or something like that. I swear to God that if you destroy the microwave, you have a very good reason to be Schwarzenegger! Uh, uh, when I press this button, the machine will bump me forward six hours in time, and the camera is connected to it so that it will jump with us, and you can see the uh, time changes on this clock here. Then, uh, never mind. Bernie, don't you dare! Bernie! Bernie! As you've seen, have you, as you've just witnessed, the experiment was a success, and I have managed to jump forward in time, uh, as I predicted. <laughs> this, uh, this is a great day for uh, science physics, and uh, the history of science, and science in general, and the whole world as we know it, and all thanks to this little device. All thanks to this little device. It is just uh, a little bit of a... Mm. Mm. Well, it, it, it is it is just a prototype, of course, but once I fix a couple of glitches, then... What? <laughs> uh, as you can see, these types of experiments at the very forefront of scientific research can produce uh, unexpected results. <laughs> if the something got short-circuited, and it must have come from the flux capacitor, but it didn't burn, otherwise I would have seen it. So, so what is it, what is it that, that could have, that could, that could... <laughs> Well, well, it, it seems that time travel has a negative influence on cellular devices, or to be more empirical, on the iPhone. But this did not catch me unprepared. No, no, no. Ah, yes. Paper technology, always reliable. Right, so. If there is a surge in the flux coming out of the Babbage, and there's always been calibration problems with the Babbage, it should be taken care of by the grounding of the matrix. No, 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 no. The flux capacitor goes to the Babbage, and the Babbage goes to the Morlock matrix, and the Morlock goes to the TARDIS, and the TARDIS transitions to the Schrodinger, and the Schrodinger sits on the quantum, and the quantum goes back to the flux capacitor. And that's it, it's good, it's good. There should be no problem. Jemima! 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 What do you want? Shut up! Jemima! What the hell? Where are my charts? What did you say? My charts. Where, 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 where are my charts? Are you crazy? Who gives a fuck about your silly charts? Is that the reason you wake me up in the middle of the night? It's morning already. You call this morning? Do you have any idea what time it is, you moron? Well, no, but my charts, they, they were here and I really need them right now. I, I threw them away. What? What? You did what? Excuse me. First, 
You play with the microwave after I told you not to, and then there's smoke all over the place. Then you run away while I'm talking to you and leave a mess and papers on the floor. Then you wake me up in the middle of the night shouting, and then you dare be mad at me! That's where you... Oh, and what's that? that? That's part of my time machine experiment. I have a little bit, bit of a problem with it. Time time machine. Machine. Listen to me! Okay, relax, relax. It can't go on forever, right? There must be a simple way to stop it. There must, must be a simple way to stop it! Oh. What's going on here? I told you not to touch it. And I told you not to tell me what to do. Well, I didn't tell you what to do. I, I told you Shut what up. not to do. Now tell me what the hell is going on here. Or oh, I swear to God, I'll start telling you what to do and you'll do it! I built a time machine. No, wait, wait, Jamal. Ma. What did I just tell you? This is my microwave tool, and I'll touch it if I want to. No, I, I know that this if is your microwave tool. I want to, and whenever I, know that this I is want to. Okay, but no, Jamal, don't, don't, don't. For the last time, how did you do that? Well, after I figured out the basic principle, it, it, it wasn't that hard. You see, the, the TARDIS performs a basic transposition on the Schrodinger and you can I mean, how did it disappear like that? That's what I'm trying to explain to you. I took my microwave Your and I... Your microwave? Well, fine, our microwave, and, and I built a time machine out of it. Shit! <sighs> Get me a simple solution. It must be... A simple solution, something that I haven't thought of, something that my complex brain hasn't thought of yet. And when I will, I'm going to slap myself in the face and say, oh, how did you not think of that? Before he just, it could be where the... the uh... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. How did I not think of that? Ah! <laughs> ah! As you can see, huh, simple solutions were always at the front of scientific discovery. And the experiment, apart from some minor glitches, can be declared as a glowing success. And now, all that remains is to just... Jemima, it really is a time machine. I know that it's kind of hard to believe, but... Enough! I... I've had enough! Enough of the smoke in the house! Enough of shouting at midnight! Enough of this mess! And I've had enough of you! Go find someone else to live with, or do us all a favor and just leave it alone! <laughs> Get away from you, freak! No, no, you can't go... Ah! 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 What? No, no, Jemima, it really is a time machine. It has a limited range, and if you leave right now, uh, it, it, because you press the button, you've already got locked on to it. Maybe just a part of you will jump forward in time. What? <laughs> what? What do you mean, a part of me? Or well, maybe just the left half. Huh? Little shit. Oh. You've built a machine that will... <sighs> Finally, some peace and quiet. Oh no. Cut me in half? You. you. nerd! Well, it is a prototype and I told you not to touch it. And how should I know that when you say I've built a time machine, what you mean to say is I've turned the microwave into a death trap? Well, that. that's just rude. Do you look like I give a shit? Look, I am trying to fix this, okay? Oh shit. The intervals between jumps are getting shorter. This isn't good. This isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good. There's gotta be some kind of way to unplug this thing. I must be getting enough energy from each jump in order to perform the next jump. That's it. Yes, it makes sense. Yes. It almost doesn't break the first law of thermodynamics. But what if... What if... <laughs> I can solve this, no problem. No, no, I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it. You don't have the necessary training! There's almost no problem, it can't fix it. No! 
No, 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 you don't understand. I have no idea what you're doing. No, no, no. So now you're fucked with the lights too. Great. I think, I think it's not the lights, I think the power went out. It can't be, I paid the bill last week. <laughs> But we've jumped ahead, maybe even a month or two. The, the electrical company probably just shut the power off. A, a, a month? A month or two? I can't believe it. Look, I, I, can, I can fix this. I, I swear to you, I can fix this. Just what makes me... you think you can fix this? You haven't fixed anything, not even once in your life. You're right. I know I'm right, and... What? I can never get anything to work. Everything I try starts off well, but something gets messed up and then suddenly I run out of time or something more important gets in the way and I just can't admit to myself to ever finish something. Hey, it's not that big a deal. You can't expect everything you do to actually work. And you have done a couple of things in the past. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've ruined three microwaves, I've ruined this apartment and I've just ruined your life. And... Hey, don't be so no, hard on yourself, no, no, come no, on. No, hey, no. hey, come, come. Come here. <laughs> Wait, I think I have a candle here somewhere, or a lighter, right? That's better, isn't it? You must be afraid of the dark. What is? Your time machine. You must be afraid of the dark, because it only jumped when we turn on the light. You're right. You're right. You're right. It was a joke. No, but it's true. It's afraid of the dark. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever heard of the observer effect? Does this have anything to do with sex? No. No, 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 no. Uh, no. Uh, look, when you conduct a scientific experiment, the very act of observing the experiment can change the phenomenon being observed. Are you sure that it got nothing to do yeah, with... Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No, and that's why all my previous time machines didn't work. You mean the microwave is quite destroyed. Exactly. Observing. The experiment changes the observed act, and how did I observe the experiment? Do tell. That! That's it! That's the first time I documented the experiment, and it's the first time it worked! Jemima, that's it. That's the solution! And you found it! Thank you! <laughs> what exactly Just go, go to the camera. Oh. Uh, good evening. My name is Bernie Eckstein. Uh, physics doctoral student at UU, and this is Jemima Jones, my uh, lab partner. <laughs> uh, we're about to finish our experiment by switching off the observation device. You've witnessed the historical moment when the time machine started working, and now you're about to witness the no less historical moment when it'll stop. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> The time machine, the time machine, I came to fix the time machine. I hope that you're alone in the house. I came to fix the time machine, the time machine, the time machine. I came to fix the time machine. I hope that you're alone in the house. Come fix my time machine, is the sweetest thing. Come fix my time machine, I want to feel it so fast. Show of all my skin, my time machine, can make it clean, my time you be my slave, I be your queen I will command, you will do everything I say you come to bed I came to fix the time machine The time machine, the time machine I came to fix the time machine I hope that you're alone in the house I came to fix the time machine The time machine, the time machine I came to fix the time machine I hope that you're alone in the house